Smooth talk. Elision in different accents made simple. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we are diving deeper into our segment on pronunciation and accent reduction. Specifically, we will focus on the magic of elision. If you haven't heard of it before, don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it is, why it's crucial, and how it's used in different accents. Let's get started. Elision is a process in spoken language where certain sounds disappear in specific contexts. You might not even notice it, but it's an important factor in making our speech flow smoothly. For example, the word camera is often pronounced as camera with the middle e disappearing. This is a simple case of elision. Now let's explore how elision is used differently in British and American accents. British accent. The British frequently use elision in their day-to-day -day conversation. For instance, last year often sounds like loss year. That's elision in action, making the speech more fluid. American accent. Elision is also common in the American accent but with different rules. For example, in the phrase, got to, the T in got is often elided, leading to a pronunciation like gotta. Remember, the key is to observe and listen to native speakers to identify these elision patterns. Elision isn't unique to just British and American accents. You'll find it in many other English accents around the world. Australian accent. Australians often elide the R sound at the end of words. So, water might sound more like water. Canadian accent. Similarly, Canadians may also elide the T sound in words like butter, pronouncing it more like butter. By understanding these differences, you can better grasp how various accents utilize elision to streamline speech. Understanding and using elision can significantly improve your English speaking skills. It makes your speech sound more natural and fluent, and it also helps you better understand native speakers since elision is such a prevalent part of spoken English. And that's a wrap on our discussion about elision. We hope this video has shed some light on how different accents use elision and why it's important in English pronunciation. Remember, the key to mastering elision is observation and practice. So keep listening, keep speaking, and before you know it, you'll be flowing through your sentences like a native English speaker. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with more exciting topics to enhance your English learning journey. Happy learning, everyone!